The Good Life Tampa Bay TV show is about the people, places, and events that make great things happen here in the Bay Area. We love to go out and bring you the exciting stories and features that help make our city one of the greatest places to live and visit. So get ready to join me on another fun-filled journey to learn about some of the cool happenings right here on this episode of Good Life Tampa Bay. You're absolutely going to love our next feature story. It's about New York Times bestselling author Debbie Vigay, who's been very busy with many exciting updates for readers. Here's my story. Debbie Vigay is one of the most prolific fiction authors with an astounding 11 series and over 50 books in print. Her brilliance is the uncanny ability to draw readers into an emotional roller coaster with her blend of elements from many popular genres. Mystery, thriller, horror, fantasy, supernatural, humor, and even romance. I had a chance to sit down with her one-on-one -on -one for this exclusive update on her Psalm 23 Mysteries, a series that when completed will have 23 books. Now 18 books have already been published over the years. There is so much anticipation for the final five books in this incredible series. I asked Debbie to describe what the Psalm 23 Mysteries is all about. Psalm 23 Mysteries is a church secretary and a rabbi who works at the synagogue next door and they keep tripping over dead bodies together. And then you take and you throw in an atheist cop and the three of them have to deal with each other and all the mysteries they have to keep solving. For years, her readers have been asking for the completion of the series and that's why she'll be publishing the last five books. There'll be one book every three months with the last book called Forever being released in December 2023. Debbie promises a wild ride to the finale. I am so excited to complete the series. Uh, 18 books are out. There's five more to go because we're going to have 23 books in total for the Psalm 23 Mysteries. My fans are just, they're so enthusiastic. And every time I put out a book, they immediately say the same day, many of them, when's the next one coming? So I've decided it's time to wrap this series up. We've been living with it, all of us, for a long time. And I'm calling this the race to the altar because that's what's going to happen in supposedly in the final book. We're racing towards a, a marriage. Will it happen? Won't it happen? Now, what's also powerful about Debbie's writing is her ability to bring her main characters to life and bring her readers on a prodigious journey together. Debbie's books are intense, but in a good way. Uh, she just has this way of really engaging your attention with the storytelling and also with the characters. They are the type of characters that you will always want to love so much and you want to see what's going to happen to them next. And every single time I finish one of her books, my first thought is, when is the next one coming out? What's been wonderful about the, the books and the characters especially is they seem to have come alive, not just for me, because that's normal that an author starts to treat their characters like real people sometimes or talk about them that way. But my readers treat these characters like they're their family members, like they're their friends. They talk about them as if they're real people. And sometimes they catch themselves when they're doing it and say, oh, look at me talking about these people like they're real. And sometimes they don't even think about it. These are their friends. These are the people they go to hang out with. And some of my readers, actually many of my readers, reread the books over and over and over again. I have people telling me, sometimes you just want to spend time with your friends and family, so I go back and I reread the series. Some people have reread the series 50 times. It's amazing. And they're always wanting to know what's going to happen to their friends, what's going to happen to their favorites. And if they're worried that something's going to happen to some one of the characters they like, they get really emotionally upset. And they even yell at me. They're like, don't hurt our friends. You know, I threaten to kill off a character and like, you can't kill off our friends. That would be devastating. So it's been, it's been really a joy to have that kind of interaction and that kind of acceptance, not just of the stories, but of the characters from my readers. Every time you think you've got it figured out, she's, she get, throws a curveball at you that you just never saw coming. And I think that's probably one, one of the best uh, things that she does. Uh, you know, and then there's the relationship with uh, Jeremiah and Cindy, where they just uh, they it it evolves from book to book, and, and then uh, 
takes a, a, a whole different kind of course. You never really expect it to go. Um, and it's, it's uh, amazing to see kind of how that's progressed. And I'm excited to see where it ends. Each chapter ends like on a little bit of a cliffhanger. So you're already wanting to read that next part. So it's that type of book where I'm reading at midnight. I'm maybe a quarter of the way to uh, finish reading the book and I'm going to want to finish the whole thing because you just can't put it down. Now here's another unique twist. Starting next Easter 2023 will be the first release of the audiobooks as she intends to put out two audiobooks a year, starting with the first book in the series, The Lord is My Shepherd. It's going to make it alive in a whole new way and people are going to be able to interface with it. People that have never read the books will be able to come to the audio series fresh and say, this is exciting and new. What is it this is based off of? And people who are, you know, longtime friends of the book series are going to get to experience it in a more immersive way. Taking the next step and turning it into a fiction audio. Yeah, it's something I can't wait for. I'm really, really looking forward to that. For the longest time, uh, the readers have always kind of had their own voices for Jeremiah, their own voices for Cindy and all the other characters. And then now we're going to have actors kind of portray it. And it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how close they match up to the voices in our head. Um, but at the same time, also kind of be able to uh, have a different way to kind of take in the story and be able to visualize the story in your mind. And oh yeah, readers can be in the book too. That's right, readers can be in the wedding party in the book finale by getting involved with various promotions and contests. Well, what's been fun is I've had contests along the way where I would name a dead body after somebody who won the contest, for example. You know, but I realized I should take this to a whole new level. Readers think of these characters as friends, as family, as, you know, someone that they know. So why not invite them to the wedding? I mean, it, it just kind of seemed like a no brainer to me. So some of the longtime fans of the series and some of the new fans of the series, because I'm also going to be presenting opportunities for people to win entries to possibly be one of the characters in the final book and actually be at the wedding reception. So each table at the wedding reception in the final book will be populated with fictional characters and real life fans. And their names are gonna be right there alongside because they've gone on this entire journey with me. It's like say the existing fans have hung in there for so long and care so much, but I don't wanna exclude the new fans. So that's why I'm gonna provide opportunities for people to jump in and say, hey, I wanna to come to the wedding too, I'm RSVPing. Hey, for the next 15 months, become part of the Psalm 23 Mysteries and experience the journey with Save the Date Cards and following Debbie on social media. Well, if you wanna buy the books, you can go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble or debbievigay.com because you, you can get everything from my website. Uh, you can even pre-order books if you want them to be signed by me. If you wanna interact with me and all the fans of the series, the best place you can go is to Facebook and go to Debbie Vigay Book Club because that's where we're having all the fun. You know, that's where all the excitement happens. That's where the contest happens. That's where the opportunities to get involved, connect, and to RSVP to the wedding are gonna be at. You can learn more and experience the insanely popular Psalm 23 Mysteries by going to her website, debbievigay.com. That's debbievigay.com. Hey, there's more Good Life Tampa Bay after the commercial break. We have chosen here at Golden Diamond Source not to mount a lab-grown diamond in a Golden Diamond Source mounting or provide boxes. The whole point of giving a diamond is that it was made in the earth billions of years ago, and it just takes that all away if you're giving something that was made in a factory two weeks ago. So we have to protect our brand at Golden Diamond Source and make sure that we sell natural diamonds that represent your everlasting love. Buy a Golden Diamond Source diamond because it means something and it holds its value. In The Zone TV has the experience to handle your project from concept to completion and deliver compelling video communication that grabs audiences' attention. Together, we can create a visual message that can dramatically improve your bottom line. In The Zone TV, video production with marketing power. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by The Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In The Zone TV, when you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com.
All right, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay. Now in this segment, I recently had a chance to check in with five Tampa Bay Bucks Super Bowl champions. Let's take a look. Raymond James Stadium, home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the 2003 and 2021 Super Bowl champions. Today's fundraising event is at a venue located only a short distance away and will feature five Buck players from those two Super Bowl teams. All right, this morning we're in Tampa at Armature Works for the Ryan Neese Foundation's Morning Huddle. Let's take a look. Today's event is to support the mission of the Ryan Neese Foundation and their ongoing commitment to create opportunities for teenagers to embrace the power of giving through volunteerism and inspirational leadership programs. The foundation was started 16 years ago by the vision of former Tampa Bay Buccaneer linebacker and Super Bowl champion, Ryan Neese. Today's morning huddle breakfast will feature four Buck players who played on those two Super Bowl Buck teams and be part of today's panel to share their experiences of being part of a winning team huddle along with their commitment and the power of giving back to the community. All right, today's Super Bowl champions panel include All-Pro linebacker Levante David and Pro Bowl wide receiver Chris Godwin from the Bucks 2021 Super Bowl team and Pro Bowl kicker Martin Gramatica and safety and Super Bowl MVP Dexter Jackson, both from the 2003 Super Bowl team. These champions will be interviewed by Bucks team reporter Casey Phillips. And oh yeah, a big shout out to today's presenting sponsor, the Suncoast Credit Union. Let me tell you, Ryan Neese was so excited and grateful about all the support for today's sold out event. Energy, energy in life. And if we can find a way to come together and connect and learn from one another, be inspired by one another, we then can hopefully go out and find ways to make the difference in other people's lives. And you know, your energy and how you show up all the time since I've known you has been awesome. That's what we try to do for our kids. We try to show up for them. Of course, Having these Super Bowl champions share their insights created big anticipation for today's event. Something I love about my job is both the football and the off the field side of it. And I love getting to show how amazing these guys are at giving back. And whether it's former players, current players, the Buccaneers just have such a culture of giving back. And to show these students that it's not just about being excited about having a ring, it's about what you can do for the community around the people getting the ring. And so it's just gonna be so great to get a chance to show off who these guys are. Now, today's fundraising efforts are to support the teenagers in the Foundation's Student Service Program, which mentors high school teenagers in Hillsborough and Pinellas County for two years in the leadership program to inspire and build the next generation of leaders. There is definitely a philosophy, there is definitely a method to the madness of being able to take students through a two-year program, teaching them the principles of giving. I won a Super Bowl. It was an unbelievable highlight of my career in, in the NFL, but I promise there's nothing more powerful than teaching a young person about the principles of giving. Of course, having these great champion players who are also great community leaders to come out and support his foundation and to share their wisdom meant a lot to Ryan. And oh yeah, to the players as well, who are also so excited about being here. It means a lot to be able to have guys show up for you and, and, and be here to embrace what we're trying to do as an organization, to celebrate their greatness as well. I couldn't be more proud. Everything that Ryan does in the community and does for the kids, you know, how can we not support him? So it's, a, it's an honor for me to join, you know, some other Super Bowls and especially the younger guys, because I want to hear their story as well. You know, I, we, knew what, we know what our journey was like. I want to hear a little bit of how their journey was to uh, winning that Super Bowl. Giving back, being a great philanthropist in the community has been a priority of not only Ryan, but the people Coach Dungeon brought in, high character guys, and um, just to see him give back and come support in any way I can, it's an amazing feeling. I got a chance to come out here and participate and see, uh, see his work coming to fruition. So um, it's really great to be here and I'm uh, ready to support and uh, great to be a part of it. I'm really excited to be here. You know, it's, it's obviously it's for a good cause um, and anytime we can step out and, and get out to the community, you know, and um, just give our support, you know, it's, it's really important. Man. Now for Ryan East Foundation CEO, Melissa Neely, today was all about being grateful to so many who helped make this huddle happen. What I believe is unique about our work is that we are making an impact across the Bay in so many different areas of need. What an absolutely incredible morning of hope for the future in Tampa Bay. That's what the Ryan Neese Foundation Student Service Program is all about. Now at the end of this morning's session, they took a moment to honor each champion athlete with the Paragon Award. Not just for being outstanding players, but more importantly, for all they do to serve the community. Yes, today, 
We were all part of one big huddle. Our organization's been around for 16 years and it doesn't happen without the support of the community. Thank you for showing up for us. All right, that's a wrap in the Ryan Neese Foundation's morning huddle. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia. Hey, please help and support this worthy cause by going to their website at ryanneesefoundation.org. That's ryanneesefoundation.org. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back after this commercial break. This month's Gems with Them birthstones to make perfect gifts. October has two spectacular birthstones to commemorate their birthdays, opal and tourmaline. Both have endless color combinations and beautiful coloring characteristics. The lesser known tourmaline has a rainbow of beautiful colors and can display up to three colors in a single gem. Tourmaline is the 8th anniversary stone and opal is the 14th. To learn more, visit our website or come see us at the Golden Diamond Stores. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In the Zone TV. When you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com. During my one on one interview with New York Times best selling author Debbie Vigay, she described another new incredible book project she's working on. Let's check this out. As we wrapped up our interview, Debbie also shared with me an exciting new collaboration that includes a new book and a music album. She has partnered with the world famous The Harp Twins, Camille and Kennerly. The book is called Twin Destinies Blood Song, an exciting fantasy horror novel written by Debbie and starring the Harp Twins as the protagonists. The book and the music album are to be enjoyed together. Pre-sales are available on both. I am incredibly excited about this. This is a brand new project that I get to finally talk about. It's been in the works for years at this point. Um, the, the Harp Twins. Camille and Kennerly. They're famous the world over. They are twin sisters who are master harpists who compose music for the harp, for twin harps actually. They perform at festivals and concerts all over the world. And we met each other at a convention a few years ago and had an amazing time because I was a fan of theirs and they were a fan of mine. And we just, we realized we had so much in common as far as the kinds of you know things we liked because they would do uh, interpretations of rock music and also of soundtrack music for the harp. I mean, beautiful, beautiful compilations. I mean, I love their version of like Paint It Black. I mean, it's it's stunning. Yeah, and they do music videos in these gorgeous locales. We left that convention saying, what if we did something together someday? What if we collaborated in some way? Music and words and fiction and. And you know, we're like, well, we'll talk about it. And then we met a year later at the same convention and we talked about it again. And then finally, we reached out to each other. We ha ha had a great conversation on the phone. And we're like, it's time, it's time to figure this out. So what we're doing, I have written a book. It's the, the series is called Twin Destinies. The book is called Blood Song. And it is starring Camille and Kennerly as themselves and they have written an entire album of original music to go with the book. So the book and the album are meant to be consumed together. It is, it is incredible, I'm so excited. Even the artwork is very similar. Um, it's the same picture just done in different styles for the book and the album. And so they've written all of this music to go with all the different sections of the book, to go with, along with the plot and the story. And they're doing music videos to interpret some of it. To have artists as phenomenal as them interpreting you know, my, my story and to be able to have the privilege of using them as my characters and taking their music and trying to create a story around it has just been phenomenal. Learn more about Twin Destiny's Blood Song by going to DebbieVigay.com. That's DebbieVigay.com. Hey, there's more Good Life Tampa Bay on the other side of this break. We could make a lot of money selling lab-grown diamonds, but we've chosen not to for the protection of our company, our integrity, and for our consumers. Natural mined diamond is very rare. It took billions of years to create a natural diamond. It took two weeks in a laboratory to create a lab-grown diamond, which has zero intrinsic value. If you want a diamond that signifies true love, make sure it's a golden diamond source diamond. In the Zone TV has the experience to handle your project from concept to completion 
and deliver compelling video communication that grabs audiences' attention. Together, we can create a visual message that can dramatically improve your bottom line. In the Zone TV, video production with marketing power. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by The Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. In the Zone TV, when you need video production with marketing power, check out their website at inthezonetv.com. In this segment, let's take a look at what an inspiration my friend Eric was during his short time with us. You know, during my TV career, I've interviewed hundreds of people. I've met some of the most interesting and fascinating people in the world. But there's one person right now, one person that really stands out. His name is Eric, and I met him through Hands Across the Bay. Here's my story. Sometimes the human spirit transcends the most tragic circumstances. Through Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay, we met Eric Pyburn, who was born with congenital heart defects, which means his health is in need of constant care his entire life. He was born with two oh, congenital heart defects, which also translated into he has problems with his stomach, so he's had a feeding tube his entire life. Because of the heart defects, he has a um, condition called pulmonary hypertension, which is high blood pressure in the lung arteries, which is why he has the backpack and takes lots of medications. His medical medication list is over 30 medications that he takes daily. I walk on pins and needles a lot because like Me he too. said, in the morning time he can be absolutely fine and then by nighttime something's going on. It, the personality on this kid, he's like larger than life. Yes, he needs a heart. Yes, he needs two lung, lungs. And we don't know when or if he'll be able to be a candidate to get the two lungs and the heart. But no matter what, even with that and oxygen and everything he's facing, this kid is larger than life. Despite all of these adversities, Eric has a light that shines brighter than anyone I've ever met. He was even named Kindness Warrior of the Year by the team at Hands Across the Bay. He did a good job, an excellent, excellent job. <laughs> I'm looking at you guys over there. We should be kind to one another, not fighting, no violence, just peace and calmness and stuff. Eric, while at last year's Tampa Bay's Dance with the Stars charity event, got to meet one of his idols, WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. This is the next president of the United States right here. True, true hero, and I'm going to run this campaign too, so anybody want to mess with him, they got to come through me. I guess I could say it's amazing. I mean, I, I, I know I come every time, but I, you know, I never thought this could be my new friend. After he was born, Eric was given less than a year to live. Always beating the odds, he had the entire community out to celebrate his 13th birthday a year ago. The 13-year-old invites all of you to his birthday party on Sunday. If you don't come, you'll miss out on all the fun, and then I'll be sad, Eric. But if you do come, and you don't miss out on the fun, I'll be happier. What's even more amazing, the community recently rallied once again, this time for Eric's 14th birthday. Everybody came out from the team at Hands Across the Bay with Steve and Julie Weintraub, board members and kindness warriors. Plus, so many from the community showed up too to share an Eric special day with so much love and attention. Let me tell you, Eric absolutely loved it. Thanks in part to the kindness of the Hands Across the Bay team, kindness warrior Amanda Romero, and the Tampa Bay community, Eric has been able to experience many things that have helped him live a much fuller life that his condition otherwise would not allow him to do. And Hands Across the Bay board members, Sherry Shonbrun, Devin Pappas, Orlando Davis, and Alif Fitzgerald have always made it a point to spend quality time with Eric and shower him with love and attention and make memorable moments with him. Through all of Eric's pain and adversities, he has kept his shining light of positivity and he's touched the hearts of an entire community with his strength and ability to bring happiness to everyone he meets. Getting him out there where he can do more good and really see how he can impact people just by being kind, saying hello, offering them something either large or small, and that it can change their day. Eric, 
it just makes me proud to be his dad. He just he makes me feel good. He makes other people around him feel Go good. Go get him, father. Um, people at work come up to me that haven't even met him, and they talk about how inspiring he is because they've seen him on TV. So um, yeah, I've been it, it, makes, soon, it makes me so. very proud. It shows me what strength is. I hope everybody takes time to meet him and hear his story and enjoy this little kid. It means everything to me. I mean, being kindness is a uh, it's a uh, it's a big responsibility, and you gotta you gotta grab it by the hand and love on it like your best friend. Eric will always be a true inspiration for all of us. All right, now in our next story, it's about taking care of yourself and looking your best. Do you have varicose or spider veins, or suffer from heavy, painful, and achy legs? Did you realize that over 40 million adults in the U.S. suffer from some type of vascular issue and left untreated can threaten your long-term health? Peripheral artery disease, known as PAD, or chronic venous insufficiency, known as CVI, affects millions of American adults, and there are many more unaware they are living with the disease. Don't live with unhealthy pain or the embarrassment of hiding your legs. At Premier Vein and Vascular, we use the most innovative procedures to restore healthy legs, and most treatments are covered by insurance, including Medicaid and Medicare. As a full vascular practice, Premier Vein and Vascular can diagnose and treat your vascular disease with a number of different minimally invasive procedures. Getting help starts with a free consultation and proper diagnosis and speaking with their friendly and knowledgeable staff members. And we do speak both, English and Spanish. For your convenience, we now have two Tampa Bay Area locations. Our Tampa office is located in historic South Tampa, and our Largo office is conveniently located a few blocks north of Largo Central Park. Schedule your free consultation appointment today and begin your journey to improve vascular health. Gain your confidence back to show your legs. For better legs and a better life, Call 888-VEINCARE or visit PremierVeinInVascular.org. That's a wrap for this episode of Good Life Tampa Bay. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed producing it for you. I want to thank our sponsors, the Golden Diamond Source and our production company, In The Zone TV. On behalf of the entire Good Life Tampa Bay team, I'm H. John Mejia, and we look forward to seeing you on our next show.